What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. It is Monday, and we have got two brand new packs here. We're going to be starting with the Arsenal big time. You've got Gabriel Martinelli, you've got Havertz, and of course, we have Tommy Yashu. These three players, I mean, they're kind of a mixed bag. I'm going to be honest with you. Tommy Yashu is definitely an absolute monster. Martinelli is a beast, but I have been disappointed with Havertz. I definitely think that this Havertz card is very, very average. Now, he does have the physicality booster here, as you see. He is going to be on B rating as standard, but he does have standard form, and he's missing a couple of things that I I just feel like that this card, man, we'll have a look at his builds and all the player builds at the end of the video, the last maybe two minutes or so, but I just feel like this card is very weak, man. I mean, his booster is going into physical contact, but look at his acceleration and balance, even with that booster to balance. It's just not good enough. Now, his skills are pretty decent, but if you don't shoot with this guy, I, I feel like he's completely wasted. And even at that, his finishing stats are kind of missing as well. So a bit of a bust of a card really to kick things off. Not the worst card. Obviously, he goes to about 96, 97 overall, depending on how you train him up. But he's kind of fallen through the cracks into where the gameplay is at at the moment. Kind of like that Dennis Burkamp. Doesn't have that pace, doesn't have that excellent finishing ability. Now, Martinelli is a different story, right? And as I said, we will have a look at his build towards the end of the video. And we will be testing him out as well. More details on that because we will be streaming later, hopefully, with things going to plan. But Martinelli is down as a prolific winger. But he plays more like, I think, Son or Salah as the Blitz Curler version. He gets a boost to his ball control, finishing, attack and awareness and acceleration. Excellent booster. Very, very nice car to train up. If you can give him a CF as his trainer with the new position trainer feature that they added in 3.4, this guy's a monster, man. Look at all his stats and skills. You've got that super sub, again, with track back, long range shooting, long range curler and a chip shot control. Of course, any of these players, any player that doesn't have one touch pass, you can give it to him. But I definitely like Martinelli. His AI in the game is fantastic. Just before we get to Tommy, who is the, probably the pick of the pack by a mile, we do have the rest of the Arsenal selection. Gabriel here as well is going to be down as just a traditional centre back. He's down as a destroyer, but he doesn't have blocker. And to be honest, lads, unless you are, an, you are a newcomer, it, it takes a lot to invest and spin and get skills to add the skills to these type of players for what are essentially very, very standard cards at this stage in the game. Now, if you download this and you pop in, you know, five or 6,000 coins, and you just want to invest that in the Arsenal pack and you get a few of these, a few of these boys, you, you can slot them into your squad, no problem. But even for Partey here, I mean, this guy is down as a defensive box to box, but he doesn't have blocker. He doesn't have area superiority. He's missing a lot of stats that would make him top tier DMF. So you can still win games with him. You can still get to division one. You can still compete with really, really top class squads, but you are kind of swimming against the current unless you are using the best versions of the cards. And I'm not talking about just using all boosters, but I'm talking about even a standard Rodri card instead of him. Even in Kedia here, I mean, standard Rashford, standard Mbappe, any of these cards are going to put it up to a card like Enkedia. These are really just a selection box of cards. They're not all usable, in my opinion. Now, again, you've got Smith Rowe. He actually has some extraordinary stats. We'll get to his build in a bit. And Jorginho for passing. He's the same. He's got some extraordinary stats too for passing. But again, the game kind of slips on by, I think, a lot of the time, unless you're hassling in a DMF role. I think the game can pass you by. I like his skills, though. And Jorginho is not a bad player at all. We also have Zinchenko, um, who's down as a fullback finisher, but he's better suited as a CMF, in my personal opinion. I think he's a really, really good CMF. He's got a good engine, good stamina, seems to have really good AI as well. I've played with him quite a bit on my Xbox account, and from talking to people, he is a bit of a beast. And then David Rea, who we have featured in the Player of the Week, we've seen what he can do. If you manually defend, this guy is an absolute monster. Now, they've also added one more player to the eFootball Points shop, and it is Trossard, who's down as a creative playmaker, left winger. He can play pretty much everywhere, primary positions everything is locked in there if you want to add more positions to him but very solid card as well to be fair um not the worst that they've added this guy has got really nice player skills as well super sub in fairness to them they have added this very very uh, good card and his shooting skills are you know really really uh, good He's going to cost 5,000 points, but it's all about Tommy Yashu, lads. This guy is unbelievable. Now, I have the old version of big time Tommy Yashu, who I personally think is one of the best cards in the game, the best cards I've ever used. This guy actually starts off at level one at an 83 overall. 
Um, so he's a better standard uh, rating at level one. He's got everything you could possibly want in player skills. Excellent. He's just like a ready set end game level CB that you will never need to use again. And I say CB because I definitely think his strengths lie in being the focus of your attack. Now, if you want to play a 4 3 3 or a 4 1 2 3 or a 4 2 1 3 or a 4 2 3 1 or whatever you want to play, um, you can play Tommy SU left back, right back, or CB as a defensive option. He's unbelievable as a right back as well. He's got pace, he's got strength, he's got height, he's got physicality, and he's able to pass the ball as well. So this is the build that we've gone for for a few of the players. I'm not going to go too deep with the bills, lads, because listen, the way I'm building players at the moment, I am building players taking the manager boost and the boosters that they have I'm not taking them into effect. I'm training the cards up to see what their stats are like off the rip. And I'm taking the manager boost and the actual player player boost itself. You know, the booster that they get, their individual booster. I'm taking that as a bonus. I'm not basing the card or building the card using the manager and player boost to actually bring him up to where I want him to be. So for the likes of Martinelli, once he's, you know, got 85, 86 in most stats, um, I'm going to be like saying, yeah, well, this guy is definitely good enough to slot in. And plus, I also am going to be getting the manager boost, which is going to give me plus two minimum to every single stat, which, you know, turns, you know, kind of good players into extraordinary players or fantastic players. So I do like that these builds are here. Um, there's a couple of guys here that I would definitely <sighs> recommend is, is a strong word, lads, because at this stage in the game, it's not like the game has launched and these are all brand new players that are going you know up against nobody. Like there's so many players in the database now. There's so many players in the GP marketplace. There's so many players that you can buy for free and get for free and earn for free. Um, that it is extremely hard to recommend players now. Sometimes you're just basically flipping a coin and picking, you know, the likes of Jorginho instead of De Bruyne or De Bruyne instead of, you know, Rodri or whoever. It, it, there's no real difference between a lot of the players because they're so matched now, um, which is good in a way. But also I feel like that a lot of these cards, such as Enkedia or any of those guys, they kind of do fall through the cracks without even being able to try them. But yeah, it's definitely all about Tommy Eshoo and Martinelli. Tommy Eshoo is an absolute demon. You will not be regretting getting him if you do spend for him and you get him i don't know how deep i'd go with him now we did have a regular member oc who actually spun and watched the look in this pack lads this is an extremely rare triple pack yes you heard that right and hopefully we get some gameplay later with these as well to be able to analyze on the live stream and maybe even play on the live stream but that is an extremely rare triple pack that you see there but yeah that is it for me lads i'll be back streaming in a little bit next up of course we are going to have roberto carlos javi alonso and Albert Ferrer, who are part of the Spanish League Legends with the selection there. Let me know your thoughts on these selections, lads. Uh, like, I feel like one card in Tommy Yashu out of 150, it is a steep price to pay if you are willing to go deep. I would not be spinning for Havertz. That's just my. That's just keeping it 100% with you, lads. I would not spin for Havertz unless he's your favorite player. Even Martinelli, there's a lot of wingers in the game that can do what Martinelli can do. If you've been playing this game a long time, such as Son, Salah, you might have got those, or Vin Vinny Jr., or any of those guys. But let me know. Tommy is definitely a beast if you missed out on his old uh, big-time card. Let me know if you guys are going to spin or skip, and I'll see you in the stream in a little bit. Peace.